Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC Test Match. Today we're going to do a couple of Slick 500 cards, actually three of them. Um, the NI8, which is an 8 channel analog input, and it is either or voltage or current. And the configuration for the NI8, the voltage channels and the current channels are picked by the slide switches on the card. Um, when they're in, pushed down towards the back of the chassis, you end up in voltage mode. When you push them towards the wiring arm, that way, you're in current mode. So these are, and you can have each channel set however works for your system. Now, I have an NO8I, which is an 8 channel analog current output, and in the chassis I have an NO8V as in voltage output. The wiring for both of them is exactly the same for the NO8V and the NO8I. The setups are the same, it's just you have to specify which card you're doing. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll go onto the screen. Um, I'm going to use Snagit for the, this video, which is the first time I'm using it, so hopefully it works out well. And I'll show you how I test them, and it's both the same for all of the cards. So we, we'll be back in a minute. Um, we're going to go, go into Snagit after this and uh, onto the screen. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome back. So here we are on the screen. And uh, I think the snag of thing is going to work much better for doing my videos. So we're in the offline mode, as you can see up in the top corner here. And we have a total of four rugs. Uh, when you go into your I.O. configuration, now the first thing you want to do when you're setting up your card is you go into your I.O. configuration. Now, in this case, I have everything set up, but if you didn't have your cards there, you can take and read your I.O. configuration from your chassis and processor. To do that, your processor has to be plugged in, all of your cards have to be in the chassis, and it has to be communicating with RS links. So if we hit and in this case you can see what I've got is a four slot chassis with a three the three cards. So if you didn't if you only had your processor there and you plugged your cards in, you're setting it up new, you hit read IO and you can uh, pick whatever path you want that works for your processor. This happens to be an Ethernet, whether it's a data highway or you could do it RS two thirty two. So just to confirm what we've got, we go who active. There is our Slick 500. It's a 552. There's uh, my control logic track is currently turned off. So there it is. It's highlighted. I pick it. I say OK over here on the right hand side. And you hit Read IO Config. Goes out and it reads and tells you what the cards are and where they are. And now let's go into the setup. Double click the card and it comes up with the screen and you just look up here and confirm that's the card you're looking at. Go into the configuration screen. Everything else is set up using the software. Now in this particular case, being as an 8 channel voltage output, you have to enable the channel on each channel that you want. You have to pick the voltage output plus minus 10, 1 to 5, 0 to 5, or 0 to plus 10. In my case I want to do plus minus 10 so I can test the input over the full range. Uh, on your data format you can, you've got all of the different formats you want to use. Um, personally I find engineering units to be much easier because it's decimal, 0 to 10 plus minus 10. So once you've gone through, you just go through and set up every channel individually. You can't just do one and copy it. You have to do each one individually. You hit Apply. 
and as soon as that box grays out you say OK and it comes up configuration rung and data now it will if you don't have it already set up it will set it up for you and in this particular case it is going to put it up here in our, our it is going to put it into file 2 rung 0 in this particular case you hit OK and it'll write all the data into the words as required so we're done our output card our input card is the same thing. It's the same sort of screen. It's just that it says NI8 input. Go to configure. You have to enable the channels you want. And on the input type, you have voltage and milliamps. And remember, you have to set the slide switch to match what you're putting into the card. So if you were you know, doing four to 20, 0 to 20 or 4 to 20 or plus minus 20 milliamps, which uh, I don't think is very, uh, hasn't been used much, but 0 to 20, then you'd hit apply. But in this case, we are doing voltage for this test. And because we made a change in that box, we, it, you have to hit apply, OK, and it's going to put it into file 2 rung 1, which is right over here. And it's written, say OK, and we're done. That's how hard it is to set up a um, Slick 500 analog card. Voltage, current, input, output, they're all the same as long as you're using uh, a fairly current version of the software. So, when we go online, as you can see here, I've got N70 writing into output 10, and then I copy that into the balance of the channels. So if I bring that over here, and I bring our input screen here, and make that bigger, and you press the magnifying glass, and you get larger. Go to decimal and we'll just leave it right there. Now we have to download our changes and we call it testing video. And I voltage is what the processor is called. Yes, it's in run mode, key switch is in the middle position doesn't take very long because we're only talking four rungs. Back to run mode, go online, and there's our minus 3000, and we bring up our integer, where it's, and again we'll just increase the size of that so we can see it. So bring it down here beside there. So if I put 5,500 for a output. You can see on the left hand side how it immediately changed to 5,500 for our inputs 0 through 7. The, the data after that is all set up stuff. So if you change this number here to whatever you want, so minus 6666 and you look at the inputs you can tell everything is responding as it should so we know that card is uh, the output we're testing two different styles of cards they're both good so there we go uh, now I'll just uh, close the screen down and uh, we'll be back in a minute again hopefully that was uh, informative for you on the uh, slick 500 cards there are hundreds of thousands of these things still out there in the marketplace they still work well they do their job uh, like subscribe ring the bell come back anytime thank you very much